Are you new to the drone industry? Maybe you recently purchased a drone off of Amazon for relatively cheap, but you're just not happy with the results that you're getting from it. Or maybe you're stuck with analysis paralysis. You haven't purchased a drone yet because it's so hard to know which drone to choose out of all of the options out there. On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, I'm going to narrow it down to five choices I recommend for entry-level drones in 2023. <laughs> What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. If you're new here, we're happy to have you. Now, I am talking to those two categories of drone pilots that I've outlined in the beginning of this video, people that have either purchased a drone and they're not happy with it, or people that haven't purchased a drone and they're stuck trying to make a decision. Don't get frustrated. We've all been there in both sets of shoes. Anybody that has a drone or has made anything of themselves in the drone industry has made that same exact decision that you've made. And it's a really hard decision to make which drone do I buy for my very first drone? And in 2023, it's harder than ever to make that decision because there are so many options and so many drones that are so capable at a variety of different price points. By the end of this video, you'll have five rock solid options for entry level drones that'll help you cut your teeth in the drone industry. Before we get into that though, I do just wanna say it's super important when you're shopping for a drone, if you don't decide to choose one of the options I'm going to share with you today, that you stick with reputable brands in the industry. Industry. These brands include DJI, Autel, Skydio, Parrot. Those companies are really reputable in the drone industry. They've proven themselves time and time again, and I recommend them for entry-level drone solutions on a variety of different levels. It's also a variety of different price points. I'm looking at you, Parrot. So starting our list at number five is the DJI Mini 2 SE. Now this is a Franken drone of sorts. It's got parts from both the DJI Mini and the DJI Mini 2. They did the same thing with the DJI Mini SE, but but those parts leaned more heavily towards the DJI Mini. This DJI Mini 2 SE leans more heavily towards the DJI Mini 2, which means you're going to get a higher level of performance out of the DJI Mini 2 SE versus the DJI Mini SE. It's got a max video resolution of 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Its sensor size is one over 2.3 inches. It's capable of flight times up to 31 minutes, and it's got a maximum range of 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles. The big differentiator between this drone and its predecessor, the DJI Mini SE, is that this drone has the capability of shooting in RAW. So that means you can get the most out of your photos in Lightroom and post-production editors. Another strong point for the DJI Mini 2 SE and the point that wins against all of the other options on this list is its price point. Right now you can purchase the DJI Mini 2 SE for $339 on DJI's website. Next up on our list at number four is the DJI Mini 2. Talk about big power in a small package. This is the drone that everybody wanted when DJI came out with the DJI Mavic Mini. They fell short on that first mini drone and then they doubled down on the DJI Mini 2 and came out with an excellent platform. This is capable of 4K at 30 frames per second. It's got a one over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor. It's got a max flight time of 31 minutes and a maximum range of 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers. It also shoots in both JPEG and RAW photo formats, giving you tons of flexibility in post or a quick solution to post to social media. Now, the big challenge with the DJI Mini 2 is that you can't purchase it on DJI website anymore and it's very difficult to find out in the wild with third-party distributors however if you look hard enough on marketplaces on smaller third-party distributors you may be able to find a DJI Mini 2 for sale and it'll be around $400 that's a reasonable price for a DJI Mini 2 if you're not afraid to buy secondhand drones you may be able to get it for even cheaper than that but remember when you buy secondhand there's always a risk that something isn't gonna work right I personally own a DJI Mini 2 and I absolutely love this drone it is a perfect quick shooting solution, especially when you don't want to have to hoss around a larger drone or backpack that has all of your drone equipment in it. It fits in your pocket very easily, as well as all of its accessories. This is a great option for beginners looking for a quick and easy solution into the drone industry. Coming in at number three on our list is the Autel Evo Nano Plus. This is the only non-DJI drone on our list, and for good reason. Autel is the only other company in the game that has an entry-level drone that can compete with DJI. DJI's entry-level solutions, and the Autel Evo Nano Plus is one that I have experienced flying. If you remember, or if you're new to this channel and you haven't seen, I'm gonna go ahead and link up in the corner here, the review that I did on the Autel Evo Nano Plus. I really liked this drone, and I think it's a perfect solution for entry-level pilots and people getting started in the industry. It's got a max video resolution of 4K at 30 frames per second, and it has a slightly larger 
sensor than the other two entries on this list so far at one over 1.8 inches. That means it's going to have more detailed, crisper, clearer imagery, as well as an increased low light performance compared to other drones in this category. It's got a maximum range of 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers, and it also shoots in both JPEG and RAW photo formats, giving you tons of flexibility or on the go power when posting to social media. The only downside of the Autel Evo Nano Plus is the flight time. It is shorter than other drones on this list at just 28 minutes. But as far as price point goes, it's a very powerful solution with great low light performance for a reasonable price point. For just $679, you can purchase the Autel Evo Nano Plus Premium Bundle off of autelpilot.com. Hey drone pilots, are you looking to try a new drone? Something different, cutting edge, and capable. The droning company is giving away a Spartacus Hurricane to one lucky winner. The Spartacus Hurricane by Aqualine Drones is a fully equipped commercial UAV that sends mission data to the cloud in real time, making information available quickly and easily. Enter by scanning the QR code on your screen. Don't wait. Contest ends July 30th, 2023. No purchase necessary. State rules apply. Only valid to residents of the United States. This is your chance to have a Spartacus Hurricane by Aqualine Drones, a $5,400 value yours free upon winning. Enter for your chance to win with the Droning Company. Yeah! At number two on our list is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Talk about a true game changer. This drone flipped the drone industry on its head when it first hit shelves. This thing packs a punch with a larger sensor at one over 1.3 inches capable of 48 megapixels. It also shoots video at 4K at 60 frames per second. And if that wasn't enough for you, it also shoots in Decinelike. And if you're not familiar with what Decinelike is, it's essentially log light. Log footage is much more flexible in post than the stuff that comes out of the camera directly that been compressed by the processing in the computer of the camera. It can also shoot both JPEG and RAW photo formats, and maybe one of my favorite features about this drone is that it shoots true portrait mode. The gimbal can actually rotate the camera 90 degrees and create a portrait orientation on the camera, which means no loss in quality because of digital cropping on the landscape image. You get true high resolution portrait mode videos and photos. The maximum range on the DJI Mini 3 Pro is 7.4 miles or 12 kilometers, and the Flight time on the DJI Mini 3 Pro is unbelievable. With the standard batteries, you get 34 minutes of flight time, and if you buy the Battery Plus product, you get 47 minutes of flight time with the Mini 3 Pro. The price on this drone is a little bit more expensive than the other options we've covered on this list so far. $909 will get you the base package with the Smart Controller from DJI, as well as the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And for $759, you can get the base bundle with the DJI RCN1. And Coming in at number one on our list of top five entry-level drones for 2023 is the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Now, the reason I say Pro is because we don't really know what we're going to get with this drone. It hasn't been manufactured yet. It's not for sale yet. If you remember, or if you're new to this channel, I'm gonna go ahead and link the video up in the corner here. My most recent video, besides this one, was a leak video about the DJI Mini 4. There were some images that were leaked that indicate we will be getting this drone relatively soon. It's projected by the end of quarter four of this year. So that's why it makes the list is because we will most likely see this drone in 2023 and it will no doubt step up its game from its previous model, the DJI Mini 3. But because this drone hasn't been manufactured yet, it isn't for sale yet, we're purely speculating on the specs I'm gonna share with you right now. There's nothing concrete, there's no evidence to show anything I'm about to say about this drone is going to be true, but it's my best guess as to what we might see with this DJI Mini 4. I believe we'll see an increased sensor size to one over 1.2 inches. It's going to give us even crisper image quality and better low light performance for the DJI Mini 4. It'll be capable of 48 megapixels. And as far as video resolution goes, I think you're gonna be able to shoot in 5.1K at 30 frames per second, and you might be able to shoot in 4K at 120 frames per second. It will also maintain its ability to shoot in true portrait mode by rotating the camera. It will shoot both in JPEG and RAW photo formats. Its maximum range will be around 7.4 miles or 12 kilometers, and its flight times, I think, will be increased from the DJI Mini 3 model. I think with the basic battery, the regular battery you buy with the base package, you'll be able to get about 45 minutes of flight time. And with the Battery Plus product, you're going to see around 57 minutes of flight time. Lofty expectations, I know, but 
I believe it could be true. As far as a price point for this drone goes, I'm not sure where you would possibly price this at. I think it's going to be very similar to what we saw with the DJI Mini 3 because I don't think there's going to be a huge step up in quality. I think you're going to see incremental steps up along different categories in those two drones. So I would put it in the ballpark. You will be able to get the DJI Mini 4 for around $1,000. And there you have it. Those are my top five choices for entry-level drones for beginner drone pilots to put their faith in in 2023. If you're a drone pilot with experience, what did you think of my suggestions? If you're a beginner drone pilot looking for a new drone to step up from that Amazon model that you bought, or you're looking to buy your very first drone, did this information help you? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon. It helps me out a lot. It helps get this video out into the algorithm to more drone pilots like yourself. If you really like this video, you love drone content made by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek, and I am out of here. See ya! Yo, yo, what you say? Steady screaming, y'all alright.